Okay, for this video we're going to install a Gerber Edge and a Gerber Envision cutter onto uh, this Gerber Amiga software. Now, um, firstly we do this, well, most easily we do it through the GSP tray. It's a little Gerber tray icon which should be found down here. Now we can't see it at the moment, so we need to, uh, we need to get that going. So best thing to do is in your start menu, all programs, and we're going to look for Gerber Amiga 5.0 and then we're going to go GSP tray. Um, a lot of stuff's done through the GSP tray, so it's not there. It's always best to open it up, so let's open that one up. And if we wait a couple of seconds, if we keep an eye down here, we'll see our Gerber tray icon right there. All right, we right click on that, and we've got a few options, like I was saying, but the main thing we want to do here is we want to install a vinyl printer, and we want to install a plotter. So let's go. Install vinyl printer. Okay, now there's a few different options we have in here. Um, if we're running, uh, say, Gerber Edge or Gerber Edge 2, which are, uh, go through your printer port or your LPT port, uh, however, I'm on a laptop at the moment without an LPT port, so you can see these are greyed out. Uh, we do have an option to run the Gerber Edge um, through a USB to parallel cable available through Gerber, and that's when we go with the, the USB connection here. But for this, for this exercise, uh, we're going to install a, um, a Gerber, Gerber Edge FX. So we click on Network. Now, oh, this has come up as a firewall warning, basically saying the software is trying to, um, to access the network, which is fine, so we'll allow access there. Now, what would actually happen is I don't have an FX connected at the moment, so it hasn't actually found found the device. So um, what you'll find in here is it, it sometimes might find the details here and it'll automatically fill in your IP address of the uh, of the machine. Um, but because I don't have one plugged in it hasn't found it so we can do it do it manually. Um, in here for the IP address on the on the control screen for your um, for your FX you go into the network settings and it'll allow you to assign an IP address to that machine. Now all this does involve your computer network itself and how it's configured. There's, there's, there's a few different options here, so I'm just assuming um, you have some sort of basic knowledge of how to set up a network. Um, however, if you, if you don't have that, contact me, I'll help you out. But, but basically, uh, what you want to do here is, is, is obviously have the edge on the same uh, network as your computer and plugged in. And then once we have that, we can then uh, assign this, this IP address. So, like I was saying, you go into your FX, you look up what the IP address is, and you simply edit it in here. So I'll, I'll just make one up again, 192, 192.168.001.101. Let's just say that's the IP address that I've, I've assigned into my into my FX, and then I click Add. Make sure, obviously, I select Gerber FX there, Add. And then you'll see that appear in the bottom here. Okay, so this is just telling me, look, I can't, I can't find it, so okay, whatever. Um, but I, I'm confident it will work. And then we can assign any name here, it doesn't really matter, you can call it anything. If you've got multiple edges, you can call them different names, but for this, we'll just call it Gerber Edge FX, okay. And then it'll appear down here, ready to go. Um, I may do another video later with uh, an FX plugged in and all that sort of stuff, but at this stage I don't have access to one. Alright, and close. So now we've installed the FX on our system. Okay, uh, now we want to install a, uh, a vinyl cutter. So, same procedure, right click, install plotter. Now I'll come up with the same, the same thing here because I'm on a laptop, I've got no COM ports available. Um, however, if you are in that situation, you still can use quite easily a, um, a serial cutter or a Gerber cutter from Amiga. Uh, all you need to do is use a USB to serial converter. A basic one, any old one will do, you don't have to buy a specific one. Um, however, if you contact me, I can uh, put you in touch with uh, with one that I know that works. About $50 from JCAR. Alright, so uh, for this purpose, we just go through our our list of, of all these vinyl cutters which we can use, or I can always just type in a Envision or E, will get me to where I need to be. And I can find my Envision 375. Here I would obviously normally select a COM port, which I wanted it to connect to, but just for this exercise I'll just click USB, click Add. Again, we can call it whatever name we like. I'll just get rid of that dash one, okay. And now it appears in our installed 
devices down the bottom here. So that, that's basically it in the GSP tray to install your edge and your vinyl cutter. Um, there are there are a few other ways to, to do this in the software, but I think this way is the best way. So so that'll do. So close, and that's it.